um, various layers. So you can see here, if I turn the pad inside out, this is our maxi pad. If we turn it inside out here, you will see this fabric that we use here. This is what they use for sports clothes. So it doesn't chafe, it's breathable, um, it absorbs very quickly, it dries very quickly, it doesn't stain, and it washes very easily. Then we have, um, we have different layers of fabric here. This is flannel, which we have inside here to protect, your, to protect you from the microfiber over time. Um, then we have a microfiber toweling, some fleece as well, and then another layer of flannel just to secure the pad. So if you have a look at the stitching, you will see that it's very well put together. It's uh, strong, so if I turn it over here, you'll see here, there's no way this is coming loose. This is really, really strong. And uh, on the back, we have a full layer of waterproof here. This is a very good quality waterproof. It's called polyurethane laminate. It's what they use for, for babies' nappies. You will see that it's um, on the one side it's got a nice soft cotton feel, and on this side it's got a plastic laminate on it. But it is also stretchy, also breathable, very, very comfortable, and it doesn't make any sort of noise when you walk. It's got no um, plastic noise like some of the disposable pads do, so you won't hear the pad. And then um, that goes over the full layer. As you can see, it goes all the way to the wings over there. So that comes over the pad like this. Um, but of course, it's a little bit boring all on its own. So we've added some pretty fabric just to cheer everything up, make it look nice, which is this fabric over here. So that's the, that's the entire pad. We also have three snaps so that you can adjust the size. Um, if you put it on the first snap, it will be the right size for medium to larger people, uh, for very small young girls or very skinny people they can then put on a little bit of a tighter one over there on the second snap so it's adjustable and that's what it looks like on the inside. So the whole pad is absorbent and waterproof all the way through so even if you spill over the side it's not a problem the pad will actually catch it as well. On the pad we also have um, a label that shows you which size you're using so that you can choose the correct absorbency for your flow for that particular day. And um, underneath we have a we have instructions on how to wash the pad, how to take care of it, etc. etc. And um, then we have four different sizes of pads for different days of your flow. So we have a mini pad, which is a, more of a panty liner, it's nice and thin, comfortable, very, very soft fabric. This is for daily use or for very light flow. Then we have our midi pad, which is a little bit thicker, a little bit longer. Um, you can hold a bit more. Both pads are completely absorbent and waterproof. All that differs is the length, the, the length of the pad and the thickness of the absorbent core. Then we have a maxi pad as well, which is a little bit longer again and also a little bit thicker. This is for your usual heavy day flows, your daily use, um, in your first or second day of your period. And then here we have the maxi pad, mega pad, apologies. So the mega pad is bigger, it's thicker, it's got a double absorbent core, it's longer. It's perfect for nighttime use or for ladies who generally have a very heavy flow um, because it's got the extra width as well. So it's very, very comfortable. So you can see the four different sizes there. So to show you how we put the pad onto the panty, we've got our panty over here. We, first of all, so if you're holding your panty against you like that, so the most important thing to remember is that the plain side is what goes against your body and the printed side is what goes against your panty because this is the side with the waterproof. So if we put the pad in the panty like this, we fold the wings over and we simply clip it closed. And remember I said you can adjust it. If you feel that it's a bit loose, you can then adjust it to make it a bit tighter like that. And then on the inside of the pad, it just fits like that and it looks like a normal pad, uh, a disposable pad that you'd be used to and of course it's absorbent and waterproof all the way through. So when the pad is full, um, a lot of people ask, you know, how do you know if the pad is full, how many hours can you wear it for? So we recommend 8 hours for hygiene reasons but you can wear it for up to 12 hours, you know, if you're sleeping or if you've got a long journey, as long as um, the pad will never leak through but as long as you are still within the confines of this pad, you won't leak, no problems, it will never leak through the bottom. Then when, you, when your period is, um, when the pad is full, you then unclip the pad again. So the blood will be here, you just fold it up neatly, nobody will even see it. Fold it up like this, to like a little purse, and there you go. 
then you just put that in your handbag and you take it home to wash it. Nobody will see anything because the whole pad is waterproof, so you won't see any blood shine through. The blood does dry. I know a lot of people worry that um, it's going to be wet and squishy in your handbag. It's not. <laughs> the blood dries and it doesn't smell. You know, um, it definitely doesn't smell like disposable pads because disposable pads contain a lot of chemicals and there's a re chemical reaction between the blood and those chemicals and that's what gives off that terrible smell. Blood doesn't really smell actually. Um, if you mess on your pajamas or if you mess on your your linen or your bedding doesn't smell it's it's the, those pads that stink not you so this won't smell like anything you can just put it in your bag and you can take it home to wash when you get home you can just soak it in a bucket there's no need for um, scrubbing and, and washing all your um, all your blood off I know people are horrified at that but it's not like that you just see the bucket like this I would recommend a black bucket so that you don't see the blood floating around white bucket can gross you out <laughs> Um, so just some normal hand washing powder, whichever one you're using at the moment. So you can choose the one that doesn't irritate your skin at the moment. You know which one doesn't irritate your skin and you can use that. We, we provide this kit as well which comes with the, the bucket, the little bag of washing powder, the soap and the vinegar which I'll explain shortly. So when you wash your pads you just put some cold soapy water in the bucket. So washing powder and cold water. And the trick is with washing the pads is to not put them on top of each other. Because when a person puts them on top of one another, the blood from this pad will come down and will get stuck on this pad. Because it, because of the waterproof layer, it won't be able to get through. So what you do to prevent that, if you want to put more than one pad in the bucket at a time, is you actually just fold it open again and clip it the way that it was on your panty. That way you'll be able to fit them in next to each other. So you just put them in the bucket and leave them to soak for about an hour or so. And when you take them out, you can also put a lid on it and use it as a washing machine. So if you want to give it a bit of a shake, you can put your lid on and just give it a bit of a shake like this. And you can then pour the water out like this into the dustbin, into the toilet, apologies, not the dustbin, into the toilet. And, um, and when you take the pads out, you'll see that there's almost nothing left. Most of the, the, the blood is soaked away into the bucket and it's gone into the toilet. And that's when you start washing, when there's just a few little marks left. So you grab your, you just unclip it again, you grab your laundry soap, give it a nice wash, and you just start washing it the way you would wash your panties or any other clothes that you have. And um, you will see this fabric is so washable, it comes off very, very, very easily. So it's not a, it, it's not a, a, a challenge to wash it all. It's not like washing your pajamas. Washing your pajamas is a mission because, of, because it's cotton fabric. This is synthetic fabric, not a mission to wash. So you just give it a good wash, and then you rinse it again with some cold water and some white spirit vinegar. The reason we use white spirit vinegar, all the other sorry, fabric softeners, um, have a, they put a film over the fabric. They have a waxy film, which is what makes it so soft. But the problem with that is that it affects absorbency. So you'll sometimes find that with your dishcloths in the kitchen, you try and wipe up water, it just moves around. It doesn't absorb. That's because of the fabric softener. So um, to make sure that that doesn't happen with your pads, and that the blood doesn't run off, that blood, blood can actually be absorbed, we use a natural fabric softener, which is white spirit vinegar. So you just add some to the cold water, leave it to soak for another hour. It's also a disinfectant. It will break down the proteins of the blood and help to keep the pad um, healthy and san sanit sanitary. Um, and it will also deodorize the pad. So over time, the microfiber towel that we use has a tendency to become a little bit miff, like your kitchen cloths do. So to keep it fresh and to keep it smelling nice, you just use your white spirit vinegar. It always keeps the fabric nice and fresh. So you soak it again for another hour or so. Give it a good rinse. If you can run it un rinse it under running water, that is a good idea to make sure that all the soap is out because the soap can cause irritation. And then you just squeeze out all the water and um, hang them up to dry. But you can also, if, if you're washing at night and you don't want to hang them up outside, that's also fine. You can put them face down on a towel um, near an open window, on the windowsill. You can squeeze them in a towel first to try and absorb most of the water and by the morning they'll be almost dry. And then you can hang them up for a little bit. Just a note about hanging them up outside. Don't hang them up in direct sunlight for too long because the plastic lining that we have in the waterproof will actually start to crack from the heat of the sun and then it's no longer waterproof, it's no longer, your pad won't last as long. So it's better to rather hang it up out of direct sunlight near an open window, same way you would treat your panties. You wouldn't hang your panties up in the sun all day either because they would stretch and they'd look terrible. So it's the same sort of concept. And that's it, as soon as it's dry, you just use it again, fold it up, put it in your handbag, or put it in your drawer at home and it's ready to be used again. And the pads can be used for up to five years, so you can save an absolute fortune.
on, on the pads. And you'll never have to worry about running to the shops again, looking for pads, sending your husband to the shops to go and buy pads at the last minute. That will never happen again because you will always have your pads with you in your drawer ready to use for next time.